Hi everybody and welcome to Halo and the Hammer. I'm super excited about today because I am making Salisbury steak. I haven't made Salisbury steak in so long. I don't hear anyone talking about it anymore. I mean, it's it's out of the norm because you hear everyone talking about, you know, they're making their meatloaves and their hamburgers. But when's the last time you made a Salisbury steak? So basically, I'm gonna make a very simple, it's a burger, right? I'm gonna make a very simple burger. I'm not gonna go too crazy with too much inside. And we're just gonna season it up because there's so much going on in the sauce. Um, I just want it to be pretty simple. So. I'm going to start off with, I would say about two teaspoons of some Worcestershire sauce. I got a whole egg, a small egg though, I don't want too much in there. I also have a heaping tablespoon of some of the Clubhouse um, steak spice, some Montreal steak spice. And then I have a heaping teaspoon of some garlic powder that I'm going to throw in. And then I have about, I think this is about a half a cup of some breadcrumbs, okay? I'm going to start making my shape. Okay, so we are ready our all of our little Salisbury steak shaped uh, ground beef are already set. I'm going to use, make sure that you are using an oven safe pan, whatever you have as long as it's oven safe. And I'm going to get some oil in here. So the first thing that I want to get done first is to get some browning on the outside. My oven is at 400 degrees as well, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start getting these in. The nice sizzle. I'm going to keep, I'm going to turn on my heat just a tiny bit because these cold um, little steaks going in here are going to really bring down the temperature in my pan. All right, so we've been about three minutes. I'm going to take a quick little peek and I'm on a medium high or two right now. That's a nice color. Let's flip it over. Go right ahead and take out my last Salisbury steak and I'm just putting them off to the side on a plate and I'm going to go ahead and add some onions to this. I just have some finely diced onions that I'm going to add and, and we'll have some celery and carrots added as well. Okay. And normally I would add a bay leaf at this time, at this point, but unfortunately I went to go check my cupboard and I'm out of bay leaves. Well, I swear I had bay leaves, but don't have them anymore. So we're skipping that. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add, I have four minced um, garlic, some cloves of garlic. I have, so this was a half a teaspoon of thyme and this one was a heaping teaspoon of oregano, okay, oregano leaves. I'm going to go ahead and deglaze with some red wine. You don't have to use red wine. It just really is amazing for the sauce, okay? And that's going to be, I can take a guess, it's probably about a quarter cup tops. You could use less if you'd like. When I add this, I'm really going to rub the bottom of this pan because I want all those lovely little bits to get into this, okay? I said you don't have to put the red wine in. A great alternative to it even is to dilute a little bit of some balsamic glaze. If you have balsamic glaze, it surprisingly is can be very similar in flavor um, to adding actual red wine, okay? Just dilute it a little bit and use a lot less because it does have, like it packs a lot of flavor, okay? If you're gonna go that route instead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add some beef gravy or if you have demi-glace, you're laughing. That's like the best, okay? So I have about three quarters of a cup of some gravy that I'm gonna add here, beef gravy. And then you would usually add a tomato product. Um, crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes work really well in here, but I'm gonna use up, because I already have this open, I use up some of my marinara. And I'm gonna put, I don't know, it's about, about a half a cup, a little bit more, why not? Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, that's the perfect amount. See how, 
that I'm looking for. It looks wicked. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these back in. Okay. So yeah, basically coming up to a simmer. Once it's coming up to a simmer and it's already there now, I'm gonna cover this with a lid and I'm gonna throw it in the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm gonna take that lid off and I'm gonna put it in for another 15 to 20 minutes at that point and that's just to help. So the lid's gonna help get everything cooked and all of the, all everything married together. And then once I take the lid off, it's gonna actually help evaporate some liquid and thicken the sauce. It'll, it's just gonna be awesome, okay? Okay, so I just pulled it out of a 400 degree oven and I'm at the 30 minute mark and I'm gonna go right ahead and take off the lid. So back in the oven is gonna go for about 20 minutes. I'm still gonna keep it at 400 and like I said, it's gonna help this sauce thicken up a bit and just finish it up, okay?